So let's get right to it and review some more classic episodes of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. This episode is filled with excellent parodies of monster tropes. It'll make a reference to certain things we know all too well, but put a different spin on them. And that honestly sums up the whole show. Humorous, creative, and cleverly written. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next- Ow! What the shit was that? <gasps> Hello, Gem Reviews. Hello? Hello yourself! What the hell are you doing in my video? I'm tired of hearing you praise this terrible show. You keep refusing to talk about the horrible episodes this show put out. I beg to differ! I've reviewed three terrible episodes this show's put out. Yeah, only three. Yet here you are talking this show up like it's some masterpiece. This show is a masterpiece. Y you know what? Who the hell are you anyway? I call myself Anti-Gem. I'm just like you, except I actually know what good shows are. What? Clearly you don't if you have the nerve to bash Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh yeah? Tell you what, you just reviewed 10 episodes that you say prove this is a great show, right? Well, I guarantee I can get you to hate this show with only 5 episodes. You up for that challenge, Mr. No Taste? Look, you've clearly seen the reviews I've done on this show, so you should know that I already promised I wouldn't do any more negative reviews of it. What? Are you afraid that I'm gonna prove to you that this is a bad show, and that it has more bad episodes than you think? Yeah, I would expect that from someone like you. Just a loudmouth wannabe critic who wouldn't know good if it bit him on the ass. Oh, that's it, bitch. Fine, if you can name five genuinely bad episodes of Ed, Ed, and Eddie that I can't even pretend to avoid giving bad reviews to, then I'll call this one of the worst shows ever. But those episodes have to be bad, not mediocre, Bad. Like, just as bad, if not worse, than the episodes I've already given negative reviews to. Fine. I'll start with this one. Mission Ed Possible. You know how you call Double D a good character despite all those well-minded people pointing out how bad of a character he is? You didn't even try to justify how cruel he was in this episode. He turned his back on his friends and got them in trouble. How is that a so-called good kid? Yeah, I admit this is a weak episode, and... I have to admit you're right that it does make Double D look like too much of a goody two-shoes. But personally, I think the main reason this episode doesn't work is because Ed got thrown in with it. Now, if this episode just focused around Double D being tasked with giving Eddie's report card to his parents and Eddie trying to stop him and tricking Ed into helping him, this would have been a lot better. Eddie has no excuse to fail his classes, but Ed... Yeah, after seeing four seasons of Ed clearly having something wrong with him mentally, it does make Double D look kind of sketchy that he would be willing to do that to Ed. Someone as smart as Double D should have known that Ed is incapable of having a decent report card. You know what else is sleazy about Double D? Isn't it obvious that Ed was abused at home? Look what his terrible mother does to him. She puts him in a box and takes everything out of his room as a punishment. What happened to the stairs? My parents took them down because I am grounded. That's disturbing. How am I supposed to care for a character like Double D when he's willing to do that to Ed? See, that's actually a good question, and you're not wrong. Double D's actions are really fucked up when you really look into why you shouldn't have been so willing to do this to Ed. Honestly, that's one thing I will give anyone who hates this episode. If you hate it because of Double D, I don't blame you. I know exactly how that works since Double D was my biggest issue with Sorry Wrong Ed. But... While I'd probably consider this a bottom-dwelling episode, I can't honestly say I find it all that bad. I thought the whole chase scene was kind of interesting, and it was satisfying to at least see Eddie get punished. I mean, hell, some of these episodes I consider the worst. He gets punished when it doesn't feel justified, or it feels the punishment doesn't fit the crime. And whether you agree with Double D's actions or not, you're lying if you say you wouldn't expect him to be okay with doing something like this for the principal. You can't honestly tell me after watching the show for almost a decade, you wouldn't have expected this from Double D. Honestly, I just feel sick about all this, but when the principal asked me to take on this responsibility, I had no other recourse than to accept. Hell, in his mind, he'd probably think that in some way he's helping his friends because being punished for bad grades could whip them into shape. So how does Double D in this episode differ from the Double D in Sorry Wrong Ed? That Double D was so unwilling to see what was right in front of him, and so happy to see his friend get hurt when he didn't deserve it, that's the exact same thing here. 
Double D is unwilling to see that Ed has something wrong with him and is way too happy about getting them in trouble. Well, there are a few differences actually. For one, unlike Sorry Wrong Ed, Double D does get his comeuppance for at least getting Ed in trouble when Kevin makes it clear he's gonna beat Double D up for what the Eds did to his bike. I mean, kudos to them for at least making Double D suffering at the hands of the others feel somewhat justified. You're honestly gonna tell me you didn't get some kind of satisfaction from that? Well, I guess I kinda did, but that still doesn't make this a good episode. You're right, it's not a good episode. There are so many things they could have done to make it good that they didn't do. For the most part, even I admit it's a pretty lackluster episode. Sounds like I'm already getting you, huh? Calling an episode lackluster is only a small step away from calling an episode bad. Not really. You haven't convinced me yet this is a bad show, and if that's your opening punch, I don't think it was very effective. Oh no? Well, how about this episode? A case of Ed. If Mission Ed Possible didn't convince you that Double D was a bad character, surely this episode can. Oh yeah, this episode was brought up a lot in my character analysis of Double D. Now, I do kind of get the hate around this episode a little bit more than episodes like My Fred or Dimlet Ed. Now, while the argument for both of those episodes was that Double D was an asshole, which I really don't think he was after analyzing them, with this one, the argument here is that Double D is acting more like a complete idiot throughout the whole episode. And honestly, yeah, he kinda is. This episode is about Double D thinking he has a rare illness and getting paranoid about it. So Eddie decides to have some fun with that and keeps telling Double D that every little thing he does is a symptom of this ailment. And Double D ends up falling for it very easily, straight to the point where he starts listening to diagnoses by Dr. Ed. Dr. Ed, are you kidding me, Double D? How long have you been a size 2? Size 2? But I've always worn a size 5 shoe, Doctor! Ah, Double D, think for a second, man. You are listening to Ed! Also, this plot is basically recycled from the episode Mama's Little Ed, where Eddie and Ed make fake sticky notes to trick Double D into doing a bunch of ridiculous tasks. And instead of Double D being smart enough to see right through it, he falls for it harder than Ed would have. Dear Edward, insert broom lint into your belly button. Well, I'm um, mother knows best. Uh, yes, indeedy. Even I am not that dumb, Double D. See? So Double D has proven himself to be an idiot multiple times. And not only that, you said yourself that it feels recycled. Didn't you say in your top 10 best Ed, Ed, and Eddie episodes list that this show never felt like it was recycling its own episodes? Well, let's listen to what I said. And what really made this show so great was its likable characters, clever dialogue, top-notch slapstick, and the fact that it really felt like it was recycling its own episodes. I said rarely, not never. Though, I will give you a pass on that because I clearly had no idea how to record audio at the time. Fine. Proceed. Thank you. Now to talk about what you said about Double D being an idiot, in Mama's Little Ed, you could actually argue that Double D did figure it out, but he decided to play along because he does end up getting really good payback on Eddie. In fact, it's probably the best payback he ever got on anyone. He basically guilts Eddie into letting him stay at his house to avoid the sticky notes and makes Eddie completely regret ever pulling such a prank. You know, Eddie, a mother and father before bed would usually massage my feet. It relaxes me so... <laughs> but in this episode, Double D figures out that Eddie and Ed were tricking him after he decides to give his stuff away and almost confess his love for Naz, who then points out to him that Double D has been the victim of a prank. Naz, of all people, figured something like this out before Mr. Smarty Pants Double D did. That's just sad, dude. This whole show is sad. Oh, will you shut up already? But again, you could argue that Double D fell for their stunts so easily because he was being paranoid and kept making himself believe he was getting sicker. Though, that definitely could have been portrayed a lot better. And honestly, what keeps this episode from being bad to me is the fact that while Eddie is trying to mess with Double D, he's also trying to mess with Kevin who's grounded and can't fight back. And when it cuts to that, it's absolutely hilarious. I mean, the episode would have been a lot better if this was the focus of the episode and Double D's ailment was the secondary plot. 
And granted, Double D does at least use this plot to get payback on Eddie when he realizes Eddie was messing with him, but at this point, it isn't really as satisfying because, in all honesty, Double D should have been smart enough to avoid this whole terminal illness bullshit to begin with. But, like I said, while I think this episode could have been a lot better, it definitely had some great moments that didn't make me feel too bad for watching it. Anyway, Anti-Gem, if this is all you got, you better step up your game. So far, you've only shown me two episodes that weren't anywhere near as bad as the episodes I've already reviewed. Oh, I'm not done yet. Check out this terrible episode. X marks the Ed. <laughs> Are you kidding? Not even in the slightest. This is one of the most mean-spirited episodes of the entire show. You know I consider this one of the best episodes of the show, right? What? Are you crazy? What do you mean am I crazy? You said you watched my top 10 best Ed, Ed, and Eddie episodes list. You quoted it earlier. Wrong. I watched the first minute of it. I never got past that part where you said, GTA 5's got nothing on this with that shitty ass audio of yours. But you, I- GTA 5's got nothing on this. All right, fine. I'll give you that one. Okay, look, I acknowledge in my top 10 best Ed, Ed, and Eddie episodes list that this episode is basically a guilty pleasure. I know it's mean-spirited, and I know it's easy to hate. The neighborhood kids are assholes, and Eddie is suffering for no reason. But with this episode, it makes sense why they did that. This episode is an open mockery of how kids behave when they get their first pimple. They imagine everyone staring at them, making fun of them, and they imagine it growing every single time they look at it. And with this episode, the mean-spiritedness only takes up about two minutes of the episode, while the rest is Eddie's friends, as well as Rolf, one of the neighborhood kids, trying to help him out. And you know what, Auntie Jem? I'll make a deal with you. I'll show you one scene from this episode, and if you laugh at it, your background has to change to a background of Ed, Ed, and Eddie fan art for the rest of the video. Deal. This show has never made me laugh anyway. Your head resembles what it once was! WHAT HAPPENED TO MY HEAD?! <laughs> HA! SUCK IT, Auntie Jim! Ugh! Oh, crap! Alright, well, you've gotten me so far. But now try this episode on for size. Tinker Ed. Now this is a stinker. This is probably worse than any of the episodes you've reviewed so far. Oh god, this episode again. Okay, look, I'm gonna say it, and I don't care about the backlash I'll get for this, but this episode is not that bad. Excuse me? You know the majority of people put it up there with your Ed here and if it smells like an Ed as one of the worst episodes ever? Yeah, and I'm not one of them. If I were to put this up with an episode, I'd put it up there with something like Mission Ed Possible. Sure, maybe you can argue it's a top 10 worst episode, but I strongly disagree that it's a top 5 or even top 3 worst episode of the show. This episode is about Jimmy wanting to prove to Kevin that fairy tales are real, and when the Eds find out about it, Eddie does what he does best and scams Jimmy out of his quarter, and he indirectly crushes Jimmy's beliefs in fairy tales as a result. So Jimmy and Sarah end up turning the tables on Eddie and get Jimmy's quarter back, and they humiliate him and the other Eds in the process. Say, Fluffy, you sure made a believer out of me, dude. I better go spread this with the others at school. They'll sure want to see this. No, wait! Kev, come back! It's wrong when the Eds scam others, but it's okay for Jimmy and Sarah to scam the Eds? That's called getting a taste of your own medicine, Auntie Jim. And the reason I compare it to Mission Ed Possible is because it probably would have worked a lot better if it was just Eddie getting humiliated at the end. Hell, it probably would have even been funnier. Exactly! So it's not at all like Mission Ed Possible. It's more like if it smells like an Ed. It punishes the other two when they didn't do anything wrong. And once again, you're totally wrong. Unlike if it smells like an Ed, where the two other Eds actually did nothing to Jimmy, at least, nothing more wrong than the rest of the neighborhood kids. Here, they do go along with Eddie's scam, and they do so willingly. So, in a way, they do deserve to be punished as well. Yeah, it's a bit extreme, and yeah, Double D admits it was wrong and that he regrets it, but he still did something that warranted a punishment. And yeah, kind of like if it smells like an Ed, the Eds get an even worse punishment after already being punished enough by losing their money. 
but it's not as extreme as getting framed for a crime and then raped by the cankers because Eddie gave a kid a wedgie. And on top of that, this isn't even the first time the Eds were punished again after already getting their comeuppance. Remember Quick Shot Ed where the Eds took a bunch of pictures bugging the neighborhood kids in order to make a calendar? Which I think you can argue is invading their privacy. How the hell is taking photos of people in the neighborhood invading their privacy? That just sounds stupid and like you're reaching. You don't call them getting a picture of Johnny naked in the bathtub invasion of privacy? Amongst other potential crimes? Uh, well... Okay, what else? Well, in the end, the tables were turned on them and they got the most embarrassing picture taken of them. And it was after they had already gotten enough of a punishment from the cankers. I mean, clearly the Eds deserve to be punished for what they did to the neighborhood kids, but... They had kind of already gotten that before that embarrassing photo was taken, right? Well, what happens to them in Tinker Ed is very similar to this. But, that being said, there is of course a difference that makes this episode not as enjoyable as Quick Shot Ed. And that's the execution. Now the execution of this is what I think makes it a potential top 10 worst episode. Because with Quick Shot Ed, there's this nice build up to them getting that picture taken. Especially seeing as the whole episode is about taking unwanted photos. And the payoff is absolutely hilarious. Here, it's used just to add insult to injury, which I still think is justified, but it's not exactly funny. It doesn't end the episode on a high note, and aside from that, there's really nothing worth remembering about this episode. Now, is it a bad episode? Well, it's a boring episode, there's no doubt about that. But a lot of people seem to have been angered by this episode, and I really don't think there's a need to be angry at an episode like this. It's not unfair, it's punishing characters that do something to deserve it, nothing feels unnecessarily over the top, the only issue is nothing is particularly entertaining or funny, and that was an issue quite a few season 5 episodes had, not just this one. Though, arguably this one had it the worst, and it's probably one of, if not the most, boring episode of Ed, Ed, and Eddie, but I can honestly say that while I find it mediocre and boring, I don't find it anywhere near as bad as the other episodes I reviewed. Y you can't be serious. You're actually telling me that you don't find Tinker Ed that bad of an episode? Well, give me something I missed about it that can justify how it's actually as bad as everyone says it is. Will you... I... Uh, did you talk about how the two other Eds were unfairly punished? Come on, Auntie Jim, just admit it. This episode is not as bad as the other episodes I've reviewed. Look, you've already used four episodes, and they were nothing more than mediocre or poorly executed episodes at best. Hell, one of them was actually one of the best in my opinion. You haven't presented me one genuinely bad episode yet, so... If you're so hell-bent on getting me to do a legitimate, negative review on an episode, you better present me one so bad that... that... I'll have to stop the video right here and review that episode in another video just so I can go over how terrible it is. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Because I do have a terrible episode for you. In fact, it's probably one of the worst episodes this show ever made. Yeah, you said the same thing about all these other ones. Oh no. No, 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 no. It's much worse than any of these episodes. In fact, it's worse than all of these episodes combined. Feast your eyes on this terrible episode. Wait, what?